Okay, now we're going to uh, collect the blood from the female to get ready to run our progesterone test kit. Need two needles. One needle to make the collection, one needle to stick it in. Now you can invest in test tubes and uh, centrif uh, centrifuge kits, spin it out and spend all this money, or you can take two needles that cost you 11 cents each. Use one to collect, Pull out your trusty lighter. Take the needle off. Pull the plunger out. Have yourself a test tube. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this needle and draw the blood. If you're good, you only need one needle. If you're not good at it yet, you might want to bring a few until you get it right. But uh, at any rate, we're going to pull the blood out of the bitch. And uh, if you just leave it in the needle like this, it'll run out. You can't just stand it up like this to get the blood separated. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, transfer it into this makeshift test tube. And then what will happen is over an hour or two's time, the actual blood will separate and go to the bottom and the plasma will separate and go on top. So you have two distinct layers. So that's the purpose for this. So have this on hand before you even draw the blood and that way you have something to stick it into. Okay, when you have a bitch and you want to draw blood, um, you have a second, if you need a second, hold her head up and then hold her arm out like this so that you can use the arm. If you're right-handed, you use this arm. If you're left-handed, have the second hold it and stick this arm out and hold her like that. You don't want to choke her like she just choked. You can actually, I've seen people almost choke a dog to death. You hold it like this, grab here, present the arm and turn, and that'll get the vein sticking out. This would be a, for a left-handed person. A right-handed person, you grab this arm and hold this out, leg out. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how you can do it by yourself without any help at all. Um, it helps if you have a, a docile bitch. Again, if a person spends any time and trains a dog, they have manageable animals. What do we got here? Little, nah. um, they have manageable animals that they can handle easily without any problem. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into the technique of showing you how you can do this yourself uh, with your bitch and draw your own blood. Okay, um, now whether you're having a second hold your bitch or whether you're by yourself and have put in the time necessary to make your bitch a pet and manageable, the procedure is basically the same. I just hold the bitch like this by the arm and I'm going to use, you know, you have to prep the area but I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, get that vein ready. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the blood, and I'll show you how to do that. First of all, you want to prepare the area. Take a dressing sponge. This is an Olvisan solution. You can use betadine or alcohol, whatever you want to use. But you want to disinfect the area before you start sticking things in it. You can leave the leg down or up. It doesn't really matter. It depends on your capability in the bitch, but you want to... This does two things, it disinfects the area and it brings out the vein. Let me see, I don't want to see the shadow. Okay, so you disinfect the area real good. Get your needle. And then the vein is going straight up and down like this. So it doesn't make any kind of sense to put your needle in sideways. You're going to go in one end and out the other. You just want to put the needle in, either directly on top, you just barely stick it in, lower it, and then get it in like this. Or you can come in from the side, barely get it in, lower it like this and get it in. In either event, you want to keep yourself so that you can pull the blood out. And you just put it in. Sometimes you got to fish for it a little bit and then voila, you've got blood. 
one hand. When you've got your three cc's of blood, give a good disinfecting. Praise your bitch for being a good bitch. And then it's time to run your progesterone test, okay? So, to recap that again without sticking her, the vein runs straight. So when you have the vein and it's presented to you, you just barely, whether you're coming from the side as I did, or whether you're coming from the top, the second you get it in, the needle with the, with the vein, because you know, you're trying to go in a, in a tube, so you're sticking it in the tube like this, okay? And once the needle goes in the tube, if you keep going forward, you're gonna go on the other side. And so you get it in, and you lower it, and then you make it go inside the tube like that. This is obviously an enlarged view, but that's the best I can do in layman terms. So whether you come in from the top of this tube and lower and go in, or whether you come in from the side of this tube, lower and go in, the key is to get the needle straight into the vein. I mean, sometimes you'll miss and you gotta fish around a little bit, just do it gently. But once you go in and, you, and you're pulling back with your finger a little bit, it'll start sucking in. I mean, you can buy all kinds of expensive, uh, you know, uh, centrifuge tubes, blood drawing tubes and whatnot. You take a simple needle and with any skill at all, you can get this blood quite easily. You just have to remember that it's tip in, lower, in like that, if you're coming from the side, or tip in, lower, and go in like that. That's how the vein, you know, because going like this isn't any good, and going straight through like this isn't any good. You just barely get it in, lower, and get that vein in, then you pull out like that. So we've got our three cc's of collected blood, and now we're gonna take the other syringe that we melted the tip, pull this off and fill it with this blood and let it stand around for uh, an hour or so and that will separate the plasma from the uh, from the blood so uh, that's all there is to drawing blood you know you have other applications as well if you got to run IV fluids instead of taking a, a simple needle you're going to take a catheter and it's the same thing you, 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 you stop off the blood and uh, you get the t you get the tip of the catheter in there it, and then with the catheter, you push in the plastic part and pull out the needle. But that's that's how you hit a vein, man. And it's real easy. And it, obviously, we all know that there are many applications to uh, hitting a vein. And so it's a matter of practice. Uh, don't abuse your dogs, but, you know, select a dog maybe once a week, twice a week. Practice hitting that vein. Uh, running these blood tests on your bitches will make you an expert at hitting a vein. Um, and... Again, we all know there are many applications for hitting a vein that are important to a dog man. So, uh, learning to run your own blood progesterone uh, tests and, and the necessary blood work that's involved uh, not only will get you more pups and make you more productive in your breeding goals, but it will give you other skills and acquired skills for other matters that uh, can come in handy sometimes. So, anyway, that's how you draw the blood.